all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The Sex is Hell host of the Life Gain channel, bringing you guys your life gain today and elevating your mind and understand what is going on with our taxes here in America and the GOP's house proposal for taxes. Always remember, if you enjoy the content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click that little bell so that you can get an alert every time I drop a video. We drop tons of videos about various items. Always like, subscribe, and share. And the video you're looking at, I'm gonna shout out my homeboy Brian P. It's a video game called The Order 1886. I missed it back in my gaming days, so he gave it to me so I can do a video on it. And sponsors of my video are IP Vanish. If you wanna hide what you're doing with your internet, go ahead and grab that IP Vanish link is in the description. And my other affiliate is Set TV Now. If you wanna get all the cable channels your heart can desire and save good money on that, link is in the description. They'll let you try it for three days. Now on to this GOP house proposal. And ladies and gentlemen, my grandma used to always say when somebody do you wrong, you want to beat them with an ugly stick. And that is exactly what it seems like the GOP House proposal is trying to do to the American people. And let me just say, in a world where it seems like men are pulling their penises out without women's permission all over America, you're not going to get any penises pulled out on this channel. We're not going to come through and grab nobody's pussy. We just want to touch your mind so you can get out here and make an impact in your community. So this house proposal is in part just here to help the richest corporations in America by giving them a tax cut. Currently they're paying about 35% and this proposal wants to drop it down to 25%. It's gonna save 1.5 trillion in taxes. That would be the net. And that net is all gonna be put, the burden is gonna be put on the backs of small businesses and small entrepreneurs in this country, which I was always taught. I mean, I was always taught that small business is the backbone, quote unquote, of America. But this bill is not gonna give those folks any back, any help. It's just gonna ruin. It's gonna stifle innovation. People ain't gonna wanna get out here and risk anything. And let's talk about why those laws have been put in place. Most of y'all know how I feel about politics and the issue that we have with politics is that power has been taken away from the people and given to lobbyists. And those lobbyists are ran by powerful corporations who influence Washington. That is the problem. That is exactly the problem. But thankfully, the American people have said in overwhelming responses to polls, they don't want this shit. <laughs> they do not want to see this plan. Because let me tell you some other people that are going to get punished. Those that want to adopt kids Currently, the tax code is kind of favorable to those that want to enlarge their families and they adopt a bunch of kids, whatever, whatever. But this plan would punish folks that want to adopt kids. I mean, just beat them down with that ugly stick I'm talking about. Just kill you. And small business people, you would pay 40% on your Fed taxes, whereas corporations are going to be capped out at 25%. Now, what usually makes up your local communities across America? It is small business. Another gripe that I have with big corporations is you take communities like Greensboro or Raleigh or any community that's trying to attract new business. They'll give them fuckers, you know, don't pay taxes for 10 years on your property and all these other breaks. Then they'll give you financial incentives. When don't we think that that money could be better served by doing those same strategies with the businesses you already have in town. I mean, just think about people that have been there holding the fort down for all these years and you out here shucking and jiving trying to get Google, Amazon, or whoever to come in. When you could do that same thing with what you already got in town, those people would get out here, grow their businesses, expand their businesses, maybe open up more offices in the area and could do the same impact that you're trying to do with one corporation, you could do that with maybe 40, 50 businesses in your local community. I'm a guy who believes in small business. I'm a small business owner myself. A lot of my friends are Democrat, Republican, and Libertarians that run businesses, and we all agree on this same thing. So, you know, I just want you guys to keep your mind on the prize. Understand what is going on out there and what folks are trying to do 
and who's influencing people in Washington. You know, and there are some other things that they're lying to us about. You know, some there's something in this bill that was going to eradicate, you know, some of the credits you get for purchasing homes that had real estate folks in arms. You know, the whole thing that I think should happen with your taxes so that we can quit having individuals running around here hiding $240 million in the Cayman Islands like Tim Cook did with Apple is we should all just get to a simple flat tax. If you're a high income earner, pay 28%. Regular folk, you pay 25, 15%, excuse me. And I think that would do it. That way we're not got, we don't have people out here running around trying to, you know, buy or hire 60 different CPAs, which cost money, or trying to throw money in the Cayman Islands or wherever you want to keep your secret mistress at. We could eliminate all those problems, ladies and gentlemen. And so I just wanted to give you all a layman's terms understanding of what the House tax proposal is trying to do and why you should get out here and call your representative and say, hell to the gnaw. I don't want no parts of that. Your ass won't get revoted in office if you try to go through with that program. And I want you all to get that entrepreneurial spirit. I want you all to get more involved with politics, especially at the local level. But when big issues come up federally, you need to get out there and get into it as well. And, you know, we saw a repudiation of the GOP this past Tuesday, where Virginia got a Democratic governor, Democratic Lieutenant Governor, New Jersey done the same thing. And people are just, I think that was more a repudiation of Donald Trump because folks are just tired of his ass out there tweeting about stuff that has no relevancy. And just general bull job like this, you're trying to pass a law that's gonna hurt the average American in favor of the people that are controlling you with their money and influence and lobbyists in Washington. So people, follow my videos. I'm gonna let you guys know what's going on in layman's terms. And these are real facts, not alternative facts or fake news. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Check my video description box for all my affiliate links. Check out my Amazon store. There's some things in there. If you love me enough, you want to become a Patreon and make a dollar donation to a brother, that link is down there as well. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Game.